Hello and welcome to another Studio 360 VR free tutorial. I'm your host Marcelo Lewin. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the playback settings for various VR players inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. After you install any plugin in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, they usually will install and configure their VR player. For example, the Metal plugins have a VR player, as do the Dashwood Cinema Solutions VR Express plugins. Even if you install the GoPro player, it will configure itself in the playback settings of Premiere Pro as well. What this means is that every time you open up Adobe Premiere Pro, each of those players will pop up and will slow down the startup time of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's change that. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and as you can tell, I have my 360 equi rectangular image loaded up in my program monitor. And I have various VR players here. One is from Metalbox, the other one is the GoPro VR player. Now, all of these pop up automatically every time I run Adobe Premiere Pro, and this may happen to you as well. And even though these are fantastic players, and there are times where I want to edit using my program monitor in equi-rectangular mode and watch here in 360, there are times when I just don't want these to pop up. There is an easy way to turn that off. The key is you go into Premiere Pro, preferences, then you go into playback. Once you are in playback, you will see video device. Under video device is where you checkbox which players you want to pop up every time you run Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of them. And then what that means is that you will manually need to start them up. So if you have a shortcut on your desktop for each player, you'll be able to run them and then they'll be able to use them with Premiere Pro. But now that I unselected the video devices, they will not run. Now, here's the key what's important. I'll show you something. As you see, I'm right here pointing forward. If I move my timeline now indicator, you can see that I'm actually walking. And I'm actually closer to the side here. However, in the player here, I'm still actually showing up in the front. Why is that? Well, that's because what's important is that when you do run it manually, you have to go back into playback settings. And for whichever player you want to run, you have to select it. Basically, it's telling Adobe Premiere Pro that you want it to connect to that player. So now if I click on OK and I go to my timeline and then click on back, you'll see that it's actually connected here and it's actually moving along as well. So that's really important for you to remember that you need to check the player in the playback settings to make sure that it's connected to Premiere Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to preferences, playback settings, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And now the next time I run Adobe Premiere Pro, none of these players will pop up and I can manually run them as I please. Well, that's it. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to properly configure plug-in VR players inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. As a reminder, for a VR player to work with Adobe Premiere Pro, it has to be selected using the checkbox in the Preferences Playback Settings under Video Device. Just check the appropriate player you want to automatically come up when Premiere Pro starts up. I hope you found this tutorial useful and enjoyable. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also remember to check out Studio360VR.com for more free tutorials, premium courses, live webinars, articles, podcasts, and more. So until the next free tutorial, I'm your host, Marcelo Lewin. Cheers, everyone.